Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how to uh, create a column in a SharePoint list or document library and uh, make it multiple selection as well. So by default, when you create a column, let's say I'm creating a new column. Um, let's say it's a choice column, uh, whatever it is. By default, it's a single selection, all right? So in other words, uh, when I, you know, for example, um, uh, choose a particular choice, I can only choose one, all right? Uh, one at a time, I cannot choose multiple, but let's just say I want to tag uh, against multiple departments or categories and uh, so on. Let me show you how to do that. So when you create a column, um, what you need to do is, you know, give it a name, give the choices, make sure to click uh, more options, all right? And once again, by default, it's configured for single selection, but all you have to do is just enable this toggle, allow multiple selections, and save your column. Uh, let's say you already have uh, an existing column, uh, all right, and it's a single selection. You want to convert it to multiple selection. Uh, let me show you how to do that. So what you need to do is uh, uh, edit the column, the existing one, and again, you navigate here and allow multiple selections and click Save. So what that means now is that I can go in and uh, assign multiple values to a given, you know, essentially, um, um, you know, document or item if it's a list. Uh, but here is one very important thing that I want you to know when you make a column multiple selection. So I just did that, right? And I obviously have multiple, you know, choices, uh, tags against, uh, you know, uh, one document. If you try to group by this column, you are not uh, going to be able to, right? Uh, you can always group by a single selection column. Uh, but you cannot group by multiple, it's gone, all right? It was there before, it's gone now. And the reason for that is because you cannot be in two places at once, all right? So it's not like folders where you can put one document in one folder and then a duplicate in another folder. With metadata, you can only be in one place. So obviously when I try to, uh, when I try to group, uh, it's missing. However, uh, let me again edit the column. I'm going to convert it to a single selection. And obviously it's telling me, hey, you know, you're going to lose some data, right? Because I had multiple selections, so it will default to uh, just one, all right? But now, guess what? I can now group because once again, I went to a single uh, selection uh, for that particular column. So that's all I really wanted to show you in this video, nice and easy. Uh, and I'm sure you will encounter situations when you need to make columns multiple selections. So definitely utilize this trick, but be aware of the fact that you will, if you're grouping uh, by this column in the list of library, you will not be able to. Uh, all right, so once again, thanks for watching uh, my video. And as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Goodbye.